My friend Will Hopkins from Australia has presented in this video a great technique to use your personal mobile and the application Power BI to scan any product of your company and return some information related to this product. But what Will Hopkins forgot to mention is how to import all the barcode of all your product very easily. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video. Ah, it's better to be back on my desk without all this product everywhere. But as you can imagine, to scan myself all the product one by one, it will be a waste of time. So I prefer to share this work with all the employees of my company. So first, what I have done is to create a workbook with all the product I want to scan. Then I go to my team channel and I go to files. And here I'm going to share the workbook. Drag and drop like this. And just like that, all the people in my organization will receive the file and they will be able to fill the different barcode. So now it's time for me to call my team. So I take the phone, I open the app Excel here. I select barcode and then I select the product I want to scan. So let's start with elimination and bionet from elephant. So I get the barcode here. I scan it. Then I quickly resize it to just get the numbers. Then I press continue, which saves the picture. OK, so it's perfect. We have all the numbers here. Then I just open Excel and it appears perfectly here. Let's try with another product, the TL Mont, which is here. So I do exactly the same procedure. Just open the barcode. Okay. I resize like that. Continue. Looks perfect. I open Excel and same as before, everything appears here. Now, at this step, the work with the mobile and Excel mobile is over. What we have to do now is to merge all the results and you can see that in function of the design of the barcode, sometimes you return the value in one cell or many figures in the same cell. But no problem, we have the function text join. What is the first argument? Do I need a delimiter between each cell? No, so I write two double quotes like this. Second argument, do I want to ignore empty cell? Yes. So true. And last argument, it's the range of cell where I have all my code. And when I close the parenthesis, I generate immediately all my barcode in function of the result of the other cell. I import all the result inside my SQL Server project, like you can see here. And when it's done, I open my Power BI project and if I go here on my table, I just need to refresh my table product to visualize all the code. Like this. All my code are here now and here it's a picture. Finally, what I have to do is to specify for this column that is a barcode and also for the picture to specify that this is an image from a URL. And when it's done, now I can use my report generate for my mobile. And finally, I return to the normal mode, go to home and publish this report to my Power BI workspace.
So now it's time to check if it works. So I have here some products and here my mobile. So I open my Power BI application here. I open my report. I use the option barcode here. Take the chocolate and I check. Yeeha, it works. Now another product, the T barcode. It works. And finally for the paper, Yes, it works. Very good tool.